about your background. Whereabouts are you? I'm, I'm in my garden. Uh, oh, well, thank you very much for stepping great. into your garden for us. It's nice to see some greenery this morning. Uh, so what do you make of this hosepipe ban then in Hampshire and the Isle of Wight? Do you think it's needed? Well, unfortunately, yes. You know, we, we, we've had just a just an unprecedented dry period, which I fear is just the beginning of, of what we're going to be facing as as climate shifts. And, you know, the, uh, the, the, the amount of leaks and the like that, that we've got in there, we're really not managing our water as well as we could. And even in our homes, you know, we're, we're not pursuing a, a low consumption strategy uh, that, that, you know, as good as we could. I mean, it's, I, I know people are doing their bit, but, you know, we, we could do a lot better if those buildings were designed better. Is it our fault, though, John, in all this? And you understand people's frustration when there's... Um, what, how many ever billions of litres of water are being lost through leakage on a, on a daily basis? We haven't had any new reservoirs for 30 years. The desalination plant from Thames Water uh, has just been mothballed. So it's like the companies aren't taking enough action and then we get all the heat for it. I think you're absolutely right. It's, it's ridiculous that, that it's being displaced to, to people. But as always... The British people are being asked to to pick up the the baton and run with this. You know, I I, I fear this might be an indicator of the privatisation that has been going on. You know, if a business is trying to make a profit, it 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 will cut back on things that aren't obvious. And so here we are in 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 an unprecedented drought where it then becomes obvious where they've been cutting corners, isn't it? You know, as well as all of these. You know, earlier in the year we weren't there a whole series of fines due to sewage being released into our rivers and poor management in that respect. So, yeah, they, they really get a, a D, I fear, in terms of their report card. John, those caught using their hose pipe could be put down. Do you think that's fair or do you think that's extreme? Um, well, you know, we, we're in this position now. I wish there was something we could go back in time with and fix those leaks and the like, but we can't. And so, you know, here I am in my garden. I haven't watered my garden at all this year. Yes, it's a bit dry on the top, but because I haven't also cut my garden, it's full of wildflowers and the plants themselves are fine. They've not dried out. So you can manage these things without a serious compromise. And, you know, I wash my car once a year if it needs it or not. So um, I, you know, don't, don't, you know, don't use a great deal of water on my car either. So you can do it without too much compromise. I, I appreciate a lot of people put um, a huge amount of money in their gardens and to, to watch those wither and die must be quite gut-wrenching. But, you know, it, 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 here we are. We, we need better management and we need better designed houses that can use a significantly less amount of water. You know, we, we, we flush somewhere between a quarter and a third of our water down our toilets. You know, as as they come in, they, that that could be, we could do better than that. You know, and there's a lot of houses that could be improved on that. But yeah, at the end of the day, it would be nice to be well led by our water companies, wouldn't it?